안녕하십니까 디지털 허브 치과의 천세영 원장입니다. Hello, I'm Dr. c h u n s e y o n g I'm with the Digital Hub Dental Clinic. Today, I'm going to talk about hybrid dentures. It is widely known as all on X. Treatment options for edentulous patients with implants or dentures, as you can see, we have used the full mouth dentures, complete dentures for a long time, and the minimal number of implants are placed, and the removable denture is used, which is an over denture. The four to six implants are placed, and the fixed type of prosthesis. is provided, which is a hybrid denture. 8 to 10 or 15 or more implants can be placed in a bridge type. These are the options for our treatment plans. Regarding the hybrid restoration, let me talk about all on X. Dr. Paolo Malo In 1998, with the Nobel BioCare, introduced this. Four to six implants are placed instead of the number of teeth. And the restoration is provided in a fixed type. When bone is severely resorbed, this can be used, which is an advantage. Not only the teeth form, but Also, the gum is added to the restoration, so it is a more aesthetically pleasing outcome that can be achieved. Therefore, it is called all on X. X indicates the number of implants. All on X. The restoration types, uh, there are many different types, but let me introduce the three of them. which are widely used. We have used this for a long time. A metal bar is milled or casted. So one piece milled bar type with acryl or zirconia, which is used widely these days, uh, is added on top of it. On implants, solitary abutments, multi-unit abutments are connected using pi base, they are connected. In the middle, you see the split bar type, which is a combination of split and bar types. Magic 4 is the Austin's product in this category. So the split bar type is available for all on X. Can we use all on X for any patients? Let's have a look at what needs to be considered. A diagnostic consideration, first extraoral and intraoral considerations for extraoral. Lip support, protrusion, retrusion, and VD, vertical dimension need to be considered. And intraorally, The clearance should be provided for restorations can be put in. We are talking about implants, therefore bony height and volume should be considered to determine whether all on X can be used and can utilize the benefits of all on X. All these need to be carefully considered. First, we need to consider these factors for diagnosis. The restoration includes teeth and the gums, so lip support is provided when a patient has a protrusion. If this is used, the facial profile would look more protruded, which is not good for aesthetics, so you need to go for the bridge type due to bone resorption or chronic period disease when there is a concavity around the mouth this can have the benefit of providing the lip support so hybrid type of all on x 
restoration can be a much better option. Here we need to consider first the nasolabial angle, that is, uh, from the columella of nose and its angle with the philtrum. On average, if it is 90 degrees or more, it is more aesthetically favorable as it doesn't make mouth look protruded. Carefully consider the aesthetic line from the nose tip to the pogonian. The relationship, the positions of the upper lip and the lower lip. In the past, if the lips are protruded a little bit, it was considered better, but it is going back a little bit based on Korean population. Next, there are thick lips and thin lips, and that also should be considered. The philtrum length, if it is short, if it has a little bit of lip support, it would look it would make mouth look too much uplifted. Regarding the smile line, many people already consider it sufficiently, so uh, it doesn't need further explanation. Next, intraoral considerations, occlusal plane to the gingiva. Interocclusal clearances from the gingival crest to occlusal plane. Depending on the clearance level, appropriate restorations would be different. If the clearance is 7 to 8 millimeters, in that case, a hybrid type or overdentures would not be appropriate because ideal structures of restoration cannot be made and it can create some problems. Therefore, in that case, a bridge type would be more ideal. In this photo, due to period disease, a lot of bone is resorbed. Interocclusal clearance is quite big. If you use a bridge, the bridge would look long, the teeth would be made long, which is aesthetically not very good. So in this case, if the clearance is 10 to 15 millimeters, an overdenture can be an option. If you want a fixed type, a hybrid type that I mentioned before, and depending on the products, the hybrid restoration, 15 to 20 millimeters or 13 millimeter or more clearance would be necessary for ideal type of restoration and for aesthetic reasons. In the past, milled bar type, acryl, the resin restorations used to be made. So this is an intraocclusal clearance. First, the tissue level, uh, biologic width exists and over it, the restorations would be put on tissue depth, three millimeters. The barbridge connection requires some depth over the implants, so usually three millimeters would be needed for hybrid type of restorations. Gingiva crest is covered by it, and that will interfere with the cleansing, causing inflammation. So two millimeters of space is required for hygiene. So that is um, requiring two millimeters. The metal framework needs to be retained with acryl, so at least 4 millimeters or more is required for that space. According to Dr. Hess, 8 millimeters of metal framework space is required, and acryl resin starts from here for Enough strength, 2 millimeters of acryl space is required, and 3 millimeters of tooth height. Thus, a total of 15 millimeters of interocclusal clearance is required from the gingiva crest to the occlusal plane. Otherwise, this type of restoration would create some problems. 
including the strength problem. If the clearance is too low, this type of restoration should be avoided. Second, a split type hybrid restoration. Compared to the milled bar, the difference is that it's not one bar, but it is a split type. Especially here, the metal height is included, and the height is much lower than the milled bar. Therefore, the limitations of clearance is much more tolerable. So, in the hybrid type, a type base structure in the restoration, 4 millimeters is required for Austin products, and the height is much more reduced. So, treatment options are much more expanded. Tissue depth and space, these space are the same as before, acrylic resin. These days we use zirconia quite a lot for all on X. Even for zirconia, the minimal thickness is required, which is 2 millimeters, and the tooth height is the same. So if you add all of them, 5 is 11, so around 13 millimeters or less space is required. Depending on situation, the minimal thickness of zirconia here is just two millimeters, but based on my clinical experience, four millimeters, especially when you use multi abutments, the space of four millimeters is required for long term stability without fractures. I have talked about two widely used types, the milled bar type and split bar type. And the uh, advantages of those two are combined in the T-bar type. Magic 4 is the name of Austin product, which is a solution for all on X, all on 4. This patient has a severely resorbed bone because of perio disease, except a few teeth. All teeth need to be extracted for all on X, where a minimal number of implants are placed, which can be an advantage as well as a disadvantage. Here, all teeth are extracted. There are anatomically bone handicaps, and if you need to graft a lot of bone in such a case, the advantage is that the implants can be selectively placed. Uh, the disadvantage is that the prosthesis is in one piece and the several teeth can be saved, but they all need to be extracted, which is a disadvantage. Another disadvantage, we talked about the vertical dimension. When there is a lot of bone, the clearance is small. Then all on six, the hybrid type is not easy to do. When recession is severe and the vertical dimension is too large, a bridge type is not a good option for aesthetics as crowns would look very long. But the hybrid type has the gum and teeth together in the prosthesis, so it is uh, better in terms of aesthetics. So, hybrid type implant system is my preference, and I recommend them to patients. The All on 4 system, Magic 4, digital planning is used for guided surgery, and CAD CAM is used for fabricating prosthesis. So, that's what I'm going to talk about. In this patient, the skin data and the CT data are used in the three shape implant studio. The implant planning simulation software, the optimal implant positions are determined, 
and a guided design is performed for guided surgery in this software. The positions of implant placement would be designed using this software to make hybrid type bridge more stable. Using the software, implant positions and the guide to be connected are checked. Extraction has not been performed, but on the digital software, extraction is performed digitally and VD is determined so the patient data can be used in various ways that we want. So a temporary and a guide can be designed and prefabricated. It is mounted with the patient's VD and CO in an identless model. This is the body with a guide connected and the temporary occlusal adjustment can be done which can reduce the treatment time for the patients and increase convenience and the precision of the result, so it is more effective. Immediate implant placement. After extraction, implants were placed at the same time, prefabricated temporary denture, which is realigned and adjusted. On the day of surgery, the patient was sent home with the temporary. About two months later, scan bodies were used to do scanning with a digital scanner, and CT was taken, and the data is sent to Kozen, an awesome subsidiary. And then we receive and confirm the design of T-bars and the prosthetic design, the visible design. If you want to make some modifications and change, that can be communicated with the company and modifications would be confirmed. So you are looking at T-bars and abutments and a temporary bridge and a wash impression tray. After connecting abutments, the final occlusal bite VD would be checked and abutments would be realigned. To fabricate the final prosthesis, wash impression tray would arrive at a dental clinic and a patient comes and T-bars are connected at each position and realigning, impression taking, bite taking is performed for final prosthesis. They are sent to the Kozan and a temporary is delivered to a patient can use to fix the prosthesis from the day. After the delivery of the final prosthesis, the VD is quite large, the gum is included, and the teeth forms are more ideal and pretty. Four implants in the mandible and about six implants on the maxilla for this fixed type restoration. Not much occlusal adjustment was necessary. As digital technology was used. Recently, high quality prosthesis can be fabricated using CAD CAM. How was it? Today, I have talked about the hybrid bridge very briefly based on my thoughts. There are a lot more information about the hybrid bridge due to constraint of time. More details will be provided in offline course. Much more abundant information can be provided through the course. Thank you very much for your attention.